Hello, my name is Harley. I'm with MI Squared, and this is a short video showing the workflows listed in the OpenEMR G3 Testing Workflows document. Some of the G3 testing items can be accomplished by OpenEMR by itself. However, all the items are covered by the combined package of OpenEMR with NewCrop ERX. As we walk through the workflows, I will name the testing objectives as they are fulfilled. And now, in fact, one of the objectives is not supported by either ERX or OpenEMR. That's the 170.314B4 Clinical Information Reconciliation Objective. OpenEMR can display clinical information on the screen and in reports, but not in the simultaneous comparison mode required by that objective. Okay, so first we're going to log into OpenEMR. I want to use my mid-level practitioner, Margot Houlihan. Click the Login button. This is OpenEMR's home screen, which I want to open up some more viewing space. So this, this check box at the top left here it says bottom. Click that, and it makes more space visible. We need to select a patient to use their record to do the, the prescription work here. So let's select in the navigation menu on the left, click the patient button, and then let's select Rebecca Allen from the roster. Now, this is Rebecca Allen's summary screen at the middle top. Let's click the new crop med entry button. And this brings us to the landing page of ERX, which is MedEntry. Prescribers need to do their work from the Compose RX screen, so click that tab, and here we are. On this screen, we're going to see the A6 medication list objective, because there's going to be a medication down here, and the A7 medication allergy list objective because allergies is going to be listed right here and this is not only medication allergies but all allergies. So let's first enter a medication allergy by clicking on the allergy intolerance button and let's make Ms. Allen allergic to well let's search on morph let's select morphine so here's the uh, allergy detail panel, we select the severity from this drop down menu, select moderate. Optionally, we can, we can select an onset date and a free text you know, elaboration of the problem, but let's just save the allergy with this pink button, save allergy. Okay, that's our, our allergy listing. Now let's order a medication. And this workflow addresses the A1 CPOE objective as it relates to medication order entry. So let's enter a few letters of a drug up here next to the pink drug search button. Um, click drug search. Now this gives us a list of all the codeine preparations that uh, ERX is connected with. This screen also gives us the, the A8 clinical decision support objective by these links to informational uh, sources of authoritative literature, which we could follow these up. Let's not. Uh, the monograph is available if it's in a production environment. This is pre-production for demonstration only. And these other links would be available in a production environment also. But that's your CDS objective. So let us select a medication codeine 30 milligram tabs. Okay, now it neglected to bring it up. Let's hit the drug search again and click the same medication. Okay, now this is an alert that the morphine allergy could be triggered by the codeine that we're about to order. So thank you for the word. We're going to simply close this because we're going to have our reasons for continuing to order this medication. At this screen, you compose the RX 
compose the prescription. Let's just select the items which gives a prescription of one tablet, PRN, three times a day for seven days. Save Rx. Now at this point we're back to the Compose Rx screen but we're going to take, click this pink button at the top, take Complete Rx to Review page, and it brings back a patient allergy alert and some pediatric caution, some, some other alerts, which we see up here a summary of them, reviews performed, drug drug, none found, drug allergy one, drug disease none, precautions two. And this screen fulfills the A2 drug drug interaction and allergy alerts objective. Now since the allergy alert has been triggered and we let it come to this page so we can see the alert we need to enter a reason why we went ahead and ordered that. So down in the lower right corner this is a magnifying glass. If you see it here next to the X click on this and in the middle of the next page there or the next screen there's a drug review override drop down menu select one of the reasons for this purpose it doesn't matter and let's just click the save button now then we click the link return to previous page and this review rx comes back with the different disposition buttons that turn blue when you over when you mouse over them this transmit rx button down here will fulfill the B3 electronic prescribing objective because that will transmit the prescription electronically if this were a production site and the prescriber was registered with SureScripts and there were a couple other configuration factors taken care of. As it happens, let's just let's just finish and add to current meds so we can have something on the list. So here we have the screen current medication list, allergy intolerance list. So this fulfills all the objectives that are on that list, um, but let's close this down tidily. We want to delete the medication, so click in the right, and then uh, the right checkbox at the end in gray, and then click on the DC button above it. Okay, now we want to delete the allergy so click on the allergy name morphine and then down here there's a blue button that says delete this allergy so we delete that now we sign out of ERX by clicking the patient name at the top of the open EMR screen that bails us out of ERX and now we want to log out of OpenEMR, so you click the log out button at the top right corner of your screen. And it's cleanly exiting. And that's it. Thank you very much.